In today's video, we're going to be going through the top assault rifles to use right now in Warzone. We're going to be doing SMGs next as well, and as always, I like to get straight to the point, no BS and fluff, so let's go. First one on today's video is going to be the Cooper Carbine, by far one of the best assault rifles because of its low recoil and good time to kill. We're going to be using the MX Silencer, the Cooper Custom Barrel, these are both going to increase the accuracy and the range. And then we're going to be using the 60 round magazine with the 2.5 times optic, the Cooper Custom padded stock, the Shrive angled under barrel, and then the stippled grip tape, and also tight grip. And all of those attachments I have just put on basically just increase the accuracy and the recoil control, making this thing a laser beam. And then we're going to be going for the lengthened ammo type and fully loaded to finish it off. The Volksturm Guevara is next. You're going to want to use this as a sniper support option. So basically use it as a close range, medium range option and then have a sniper as your secondary which can cover you for those long distance gun sights. For this we want to use the recoil booster for the fire rate. This barrel is going to increase the accuracy and the range. Very good attachment. All the other barrels are kind of pointless to be fair. Strife angled under barrel for the increase in accuracy along with the 60 round magazine or you can use the 45 round magazine. Both of these are very good options. I would go with this one on a closer map and this one on a bigger map so it's up to you. We're going to be going for this one though because I mainly play Rebirth. Lengthened ammo type and then for the rear grip we're going to be going for taped grip and then for the optic we have the slate reflector optic. We have the adjustable stock which is going to increase the mobility of the weapon and the strafe speed and then we're going to be using fleet for the movement speed and fully loaded to finish it off. Alright next up is the STG, this is one of the like old reliables, this is basically like the M4A1 of Vanguard, it's just a basic weapon that everyone should have maxed out and it's just always always good, there's nothing that's bad about this weapon. It's just reliable. MX Silencer and then the 760mm barrel. These are both going to increase the accuracy and the range. And then you want to use the 50 round magazine increasing the recoil control, the fire rate, ADS and movement speed. Lengthened ammo type with that. And then you want to use the 25 times optic, the strife angled under barrel, the stippled grip tape. For the stock we want to use the precision stock and then you guys are going to want to use the acrobatic perk for the movement speed and fully loaded. So. The stock, the optic, the rear grip, the underbarrel, you know, all of those attachments I just put on, they basically increase the accuracy of the weapon. And then this is going to increase the movement speed. All of these other ones on this weapon are pretty rubbish. And then fully loaded. One of the most accurate weapons in the game right now, the BAR, this is definitely a top assault rifle. You're going to want to use the MX Silencer and the XL barrel, both increasing the accuracy and range and 25 times optic as well. You're also going to want to use the 50 round magazine, make sure it is this one because this increases the recoil control and accuracy and the fire rate and the ADS and the movement speed. This is literally a game changing attachment, make sure to stick it on, it makes the weapon go from like a 5 to a 10 out of 10, it is so so good. Strife angled under barrel and lengthened and then you guys are going to want to use the stippled grip tape and then for the stock you want to use the chariot stock for the accuracy and then for the perks you guys are going to want to use Hard scope for the recoil control and fully loaded. Alright, next up, the Growl 556. This is one of those weapons that it's just, it's just an OG, so I had to include in today's video. And it feels really, really good at the moment. Now, most of you guys already probably know this loadout, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. But here it is. It's been out for, like, literally since the beginning, for years. So, I'm not going to talk about it too much, but it is such a good weapon. Another classic, the M13, one of the most easiest weapons to use because of its super low recoil, and it has a pretty good TTK as well. These are the attachments you guys are going to want to use on this class. Once again, I'm not going to talk about this one too much because it has been around for years and years, and there's only five simple attachments as well. So, just trust me, give it a go if you haven't used it. Alright, the Automaton is next. This is one of the overall best, like statistically, one of the best ARs. Best time to kill at range, 75 bullets in a magazine which is crazy and very low recoil. MX silencer and then the BFA barrel, these are both going to increase the accuracy and range. 2.5 times optic as usual and then you guys are going to want to use the hand stop under barrel and then for the magazine you want to use the 75 round magazine because that is just a ridiculous amount of bullets for a assault rifle, you can wipe out a whole squad with this. Lengthened ammo type, we're going to be going for the polymer grip on this one. And then the padded stock for the accuracy, tight grip for the accuracy, and fully loaded, as always, to finish it off. And the final weapon in today's video, the FFAR. This is a super underrated option. I thought I'd include it in today's video, and you want to actually use this as a close-range SMG. 
because it just absolutely melts and it's really, really fun. And the mobility is very quick. You want to use the agency suppressor for the increase in accuracy. It also increases the range, which is nice. The task force barrel, which is going to also increase the accuracy of the weapon. And then you want to use the 50 round magazine, field agent grip and the radar stock. It is one of the best close range options whenever you turn an assault rifle into an SMG. This one is just like one of the best. Make sure to try it out and make sure to subscribe for more. That is the end of the video. Peace out.